Okay, so now that we have our WYSIWYG loaded up here, let's take a look at some of the other options you have. So we'll go back over to the documentation. And uh, they have a pretty good starting point to put in some advanced options. So we're going to take a look at that. So you'll see here, it's definitely uh, for the initialization, we've added a bunch of new stuff here. And uh, it's kind of just a, a little idea of the options you can put. So we can load a bunch of plugins, which you can uh, find more on the uh, Tiny MCE website. Um, then we have our toolbar, so you can rearrange things in our toolbar. There's also content CSS, which we'll look at that a little bit later. That's an actual, that's a really cool feature. So let's just go ahead and let's load all this up. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this whole initialization script. And we're just going to replace the one we have. Because the other thing I want to do is see this selector here? This one's saying text area ID ELMI1, or sorry, element 1 ELM. Um, so that's pinpointing a specific uh, text area. And that's something we're going to do because we don't necessarily want every single text area to have this WYSIWYG editor. Sometimes we might just want a text area to be just a text area. So again, let's copy this whole script. Head over to Aptana. Go ahead and highlight this and we'll just go ahead and paste over it. So I got rid of the uh, first one we put in. Now let's go in here and first let's look at the selector. What I like to do is just make a class that is uh, dedicated to adding the tiny MCE to whatever text area I want. And we're just going to call that editor. So selector dot editor. Let's save that. So if we go back to our page and reload, we're going to lose it. And that's because now it's looking for an element with the uh, class name editor. So let's hop back over to index really quick and scroll down to our form here and find our text area. And after form control, we'll do space editor. So that's all we need to do to a text area in order to make sure that the uh, WYSIWYG is loaded over top of it. Let's go back and refresh the page. There we go. But now you're seeing some of those custom uh, options that we, we put in the initialization script. So let's go back to Aptana, go to our js.php. And here we have a width and height. And uh, I actually don't, I don't want to have that in there. I want it to be uh, the way it was. So I'm going to take these out. And we have all these plugins here. Um, we can look at those later. But let's look at uh, the toolbar. So the way the toolbar is set up is that each one of these words here represents a button. And then the uh, pipe key, or the vertical line, represents the uh, divider. So the space in between. So basically it creates a little group of buttons. So if we wanted to rearrange these, for instance, if I wanted to add this uh, style select, this is the formats here, style select. If I wanted to add that to the insert, undo, redo, and take this pipe key out, save that. I'm going to refresh, and these two buttons are going to be grouped with the uh, formats. But you're also going to see this span across the page again. So we'll refresh. And there, now it's all one group. Now I don't actually want it to be that way, so I'm going to go ahead and put the pipe back in there. And uh, you can look at uh, the documentation and find uh, more buttons and more plugins. There is one plugin that I do want to add, and that's the... Uh, code view. So let's head over to the documentation and let's look at plugins. Let's click on code. So it looks like we just need to add this plugin. So let's hop over here to Aptana and in our list of plugins we'll just add uh, code to the list and save that. Go back to our page and refresh. 
And there you go. That comes up under tools. So now if I click source code, it's going to pop up with a window so we can actually see the source code. So let's see what's happening here. If I start typing in some more text here, we switch back to the uh, source view, and you can see that automatically created new paragraphs for us. So that's pretty cool. Click OK. And uh, now we're at a point where uh, if I wanted to save this, now we're in trouble because we never set up the uh, query in order to save. Right now we only have the insert set up. So if I was actually going to save this, what would end up happening is most likely it's going to be a brand new page. So let's go ahead and see what happens. See, it did. Now we don't want that, do we? So we're going to have to actually go in and do a few changes to our index.php in order to make sure that the page knows that when the form's being sent, one, it needs to know if this is going to insert or it's going to edit. And then if it is going to edit the page, we need to set it up to run a different query, which is called the update query.